Hey guys, what's up? It's Manzi. Welcome back to my channel. So, NEET UG 2022 counseling is finally in the wraps. People who were studying for NEET for a long time, for two three years, are finally going to get. Uh, a lot of you are going to be entering medical school now, and I just thought, uh, as an all the best, I should just create a video and let you know the things that everyone should know in their first year. The first year of MBBS is really just going to be a life changing experience for you because uh, from 11th and 12th and school life. And for basically any other college life, medical life is a whole lot of other thing. As you enter first year of MBBS, you are going to face a lot of new challenges and a lot of new experiences and things. And you should be excited about a lot of them, but also be wary of a lot of them as well. People who are not from medical background, they might not realize that uh, in what ways. MBBS is going to be different from uh, say BTEC or something because <laughs> first year really just becomes an eye opener for you. So you will have three subjects as you might already know. You will have anatomy, biochemistry and physiology. One thing that I heard is that there is a new curriculum in place uh, at my time. There was usually just these three subjects and we had to study them in one year. But now I think the curriculum has changed and now you also have your postings from first year itself. So if you have that, I would suggest you to be very uh, serious about them as well. The clinical orientation that you need in your MBBS is the most important thing you can take from this course. Yes, theory is important. Yes, having your foundations right is important. But also equally important is you being comfortable in the hospital setting as early as possible. So do that. So don't go for all the big name books and all the expensive books like for physiology you will have Guyton, for uh, anatomy you will have Gray's. All these books you really just don't need at your home. There's a library at every college so you can go there, you can uh, get yourself the book you want and you don't have to buy it for yourself because these are mostly reference books. So don't overwhelm yourself unnecessarily and don't follow you know the online lists that you see that this is the best book for anatomy so go for that. So all these big names that you will find all these big bundle of books that you will find are unnecessary so in a separate video i might mention the books that are actually important for first year second year and third year and, and i think i've done this video like a really long time ago when i st first started the channel i think i did a video on uh, the books you should have in your mbps i don't know it's faintly coming back but anyways um, for now i would say that uh, get right guidance and ask your seniors at your college if you have so ask your seniors about the books that are really important from the curriculum point of view have a very focused approach in terms of studying the books so if the more books you have the more overwhelmed you will feel the more you will not end up reading them so this is just not going to help you at all so go for one book stick to that the main thing is to know the theory well so do that another thing that i would suggest is uh, make friends with seniors and get to know your seniors so that you know how the college life works there, how the campus life is there because getting comfortable with seniors is important for your future as well. So the more guidance uh, you will get from them, the more you'll get comfortable with them and you will also get to know how things work on your campus which is important because you're going to survive there for the next five years. So uh, be very cordial and be very open to talking to seniors and yes, don't tolerate ragging at all. That That is again, of course, a take home message. So uh, yes, this is something again very important for every first year MBBS student to remember. One thing I would warn you about is uh, VIVAs. So VIVA is going to be not like you used to have in your school. Uh, let me just be blunt about that. It's not going to be like that. They are going to be much more hardcore and serious than that. You might get a bit grilled and roasted and made a proper meal out of but <laughs> be remember, but do remember uh, it's uh, all a part and parcel of uh, first year life getting yourself comfortable with mbbs as you go on in second third fourth year it's going to get more difficult so i'm not going to lie about that i'm not going to sugarcoat it in any way but you will get used to it that that's also very very true you will get used to it and as you get used to it you might actually start enjoying it so viva is a very different sort of experience you will find teachers interacting with you while they are really roasting you so I don't know <laughs> I don't really know there's just no other way to put it and there might be some bad days when you don't know anything or you've not prepared or you forget everything that you prepared so all of that is just going to be a part of your MBBS life and be re really excited about it I would say it's all part of excitement 
first year the three subjects that you will have to study plus a lot of other things that you will face which mostly includes getting used to the college life and living alone on your own you might feel homesick at times you might feel uh, like you're not making enough friends or you might it might take you a long time to make friends but do remember that it will all happen in time so uh, don't be sad about the fact that you're not making quick friends because uh, every group takes time to you know really just become closer it's easier for some people to make friends straight away and it's difficult for some people to make friends straight away but with time your whole batch will come together and you will you will all be a lot more closer than when you first started which was in first year so do remember that even if you are a loner you are not alone <laughs> there are a lot of people who are just like you so get to know them and of course there are going to be uh, your seniors as well your immediate seniors are going to be super helpful to you after being a little mean to you so uh, do be very comfortable with them you will get very comfortable with them and of course you'll have roommates as well in hostel so uh, well i can tell you my experience in hostel was really nice because my roommate was actually my really good friend but sometimes that doesn't work out and i'm telling that on the basis of a lot of girls <laughs> that I saw in hostel fighting with their roommates and there there was a lot of drama like girls hostel is a source of epic drama let me just tell you that and if you're a girl do look forward to that i would say i i used to be very um, <laughs> gossipy in terms of you know getting to know all these gossips about things so luckily i was never a part of the drama because uh, my roommate was my really good friend and uh, yes but other people other girls the stories that i heard were really drastic like i am not going to tell you the stories but they were really drastic so take it as a good source of um, i would say entertainment if you're not a part of the drama but yes hostel life is a full on bollywood epic saga that goes on for 5 years and as you get older as you get in the final year you will start to feel like what was that in first year or why did we do that in second year or first year so it's really just a part of growth so in first year Uh, when you find a roommate only advice i would have is to be good friends with them and to be adjusting because a lot of people uh, i think they fight because there's a problem with adjustment and there's a problem with you know compromising a bit but uh, it is important when you're living with someone in such close quarters because hostel rooms are really really small and you're not going to get like a big living room there so there's going to be no space no sense of space at all so the only thing that you can do is uh, really just accommodate your the other person who's living with you in terms of compromise and adjustment so it works both ways so i hope that uh, it works out for most of you I know it's not going to work out for all of you but I hope the roommate thing situation works out for most of you and you might end up making good, really good friends for a long long time and I hope that happens with you hey that happened with me so it can happen with you too Now a lot of students might have doubt about getting an iPad getting digital notes or uh, whether they should go for these things or not so i would say that uh, just as you are entering in the first month itself when you are entering medical college it's not like an absolutely necessary thing for you to do right now since uh, you are just getting a hold of the whole medical curriculum so get comfortable with that first don't go buying an iPad or a laptop just because you know it's supposed to help you along the line so wait for a month i would say month or two and get to know what works for you some people are comfortable with digital notes some people are comfortable with uh, writing in the notebook some people are comfortable with reading uh, in the books and just writing on the books so customize your own study plan don't follow other people's advice don't follow unnecessarily the things that everyone goes for do what's best for you so if up till now you know that digital notes making digital notes is something that you find really helpful by all means go for that but if not writing in notebooks making physical notes is just as healthy and just as important and this has worked for like i don't know decades so of course it's going to work now as well also if you can't afford uh, to get an ipad or a digital notepad it's not the end of the world it's not something uh, that really hamper your preparation at all so you can give it time so it's not something that should be your topmost priority the topmost priority should be to acclimatize yourself with the books the syllabus that you have anatomy is going to be an overwhelming subject for a lot of you so do acclimatize yourself with the subject because it is a big subject for first year students but yes you will have a better more overwhelming subjects in the future but for first year anatomy is going to be something that you might not like what other thing can i suggest you guys in first year hmm in first year yeah hobbies and all uh, don't give up your hobbies and uh, anything that you do for fun keep doing it 
dissection hall experience is something that is very shared experience and everyone has an opinion about it whether it's good or bad or whether you liked seeing a dead body or not but um dissection hall experience i would say just make the most of it you know have fun also i'm not saying that be that nerdy studious kid who does nothing but just study but uh, because you have uh, like a two hour period mostly people end up bunking that section hall or just going away to the canteen or something that used to happen in my batch as well again like i said all the best to a lot of you who got admission this year and those of you who are again dropping this year uh, take it as uh, an advice for next year and those who are in the first year and now are going to be promoted in second year i hope that you experience these things in first year and people who have graduated like me hmm i hope it was a reminiscing thing for you and a lot of memories were ignited so and if you're not from the medical field what are you doing here <laughs> okay no thank you for watching the video thank you so much and um, yes i will see you guys very soon i hope it was helpful and yeah bye bye take care